Let me guess, you're ready to create your very own digital product for passive income, but you're just not sure which types of digital products are the best for beginners to start with. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five digital products that are great for beginners, the easiest and fastest to create and get selling. And I think you're really gonna be surprised by number five with just how easy it is. If you're new here, hi, I'm Molly. I started as a broke college dropout with just 81 cents to my name, and I leveraged that into a multi six figure per year photography studio. Then I started creating content online for other photographers and I grew that to a $2 million per year online education business. Now I help creators just like you to monetize your content with digital info products so you can help your followers on a deeper level and make a full-time living doing what you love. Okay, now the very first digital product on this list is an ebook. Now what an ebook is, is it's simply a collection of information that you want to share digitally in a PDF format. So this can be how to blank, how to get someone from where they are now to where they want to be. And instead of creating an entire course or a video workshop or an audio workshop, all you got to do is open a word document and type out all the information that you want to share in your ebook. Then you can go to something like Canva, grab a template and design the words that you've already written. Then you can download it and you have a digital PDF ebook ready for sale. Now this one is so great for beginners because I just believe it's really easy to create. If you're not not somebody who wants to be on camera or even wants to do audio. You can sit and you can just type out all the information that you want. And if you're somebody who's not into typing, you can use something like Dragon Dictation or you can open a Word document in Google Drive and they have a dictation feature as well. In fact, I have written a lot of my eBooks on my back porch using this dictation feature. So what I do is I speak everything out, then I go in and edit it because it's just a lot faster for me than writing. So this one is super simple for beginners to create and it's also easy to sell because you usually will price it somewhere between $19 and $99. So it's a lower price point that someone can dip their toes in and try out your information and see if they like it and see if they're ready to buy more digital products from you down the line. Okay, the second digital product on this list that's easy for beginners is templates. Now, in addition to an ebook, this is one of the very first digital products that I created. And the reason templates were easy for me as a beginner is because I already had templates made for my business. So it was easy for me to just make them for sale. So let's say you're a web designer and you've already created a number of websites. Maybe you can ask your clients if you can turn some of those websites into templates, or maybe you have other websites you've created that never made it quite to the web. You can turn those into templates or maybe you already have some templates made and you can simply go ahead and start selling them online. Or maybe you were like me and you had a service-based business and employees. And so you had to templatize everything to train your employees so that they would know what to do. And the cool thing is that you can take those templates and just make them for sale. And so this makes it a really easy digital product to get started with because you already have those templates created. Now, maybe you're not in the design or photography or art field, that's totally okay too. Maybe you have some kind of a written template or a checklist that you already have made that works for you and you can simply put that for sale. The bottom line is you don't always need to be creating a digital product completely from scratch. Maybe you already have something that works really well for you and in turn that makes it really valuable and would make it easier to sell because you can simply show the results you've gotten with those templates and then make them for sale for other people. Okay, so I still have three more digital products that are super easy and profitable for beginners to start and I'm gonna share them with you in just a second. But just a reminder that number five is like, by far the easiest. So be sure to stick around for that. And if you want my free ebook of 54 different types of digital products, go in the description below this video and you can click the link and download it completely for free. Okay. So the third digital product that is great for beginners is a workshop. Now I really, really love this one because you don't even really have to create anything ahead of time, just like you would sell an in-person workshop ahead of time and then teach it when people are there, you can do the same thing virtually. You can sell tickets to a workshop that you're going to teach on zoom. And the cool thing is that all you really have to have is a list of bullet points of what you want to cover in that workshop to not only tell the people who are considering buying, but also for you to prepare and be ready to present when that live workshop happens. You don't even have to create slides unless you want to. And in which case I would recommend Canva's free slide creation tool that they have, which is super cool, but you don't even need that. You just need a list of bullet points of what you want to cover. And the best part of teaching a live workshop workshop is not only is it one of the fastest digital products to create, but once you have the recording from your workshop, you can now send that to the people who already bought and you can put the recording for sale separately to anyone else who wants to buy the recording. So it's really like a twofer and it's super easy and it's great for beginners.
containers and you don't need to plan a lot ahead of time. It's also great if you want to test out an idea and see if it's really going to sell. You can just simply do a workshop, resell it, see if it sells well before you go ahead and spend weeks, months, even years building out something like an online course or something that's more robust. Okay. This one's one of my favorites. The fourth digital product idea that is great for beginners. It's kind of like the last one, but instead of a video training, it's an audio training. So let's say you teach guided meditation or goal setting or really anything that doesn't really need visuals. And especially if you're uncomfortable on camera, what you can do is simply go to your phone or your computer, open the audio app and simply just record your training as an audio file. What else is super cool is you could always host it as a private podcast. And for me personally, I bought so many workshops and courses where I wish that it was like a podcast file so that when I'm walking or traveling or have downtime or I'm folding laundry or whatever, I can just listen to that audio file. I feel like I would be able to consume so much more information and learn so much. And that's also why I love audio books as well. So especially if you have ideal clients that are super busy, I think an audio file would sell really well. And it would also be really easy for you to create, especially if you have that fear of being on camera. Okay. So the fifth digital product that is really easy for beginners to create and sell, especially if you already have this made is project plans. So let's say you already have certain project plans for your job or your business or for running your household. Or I know one of my friends, she literally has like a whole system for if you have a baby, like what things you need to buy, what you need to plan for, like a whole set of project plans for having a kid. Or maybe you're somebody who has a whole binder of how to run your household or do your finances or whatever that is, whether you have that from a job or a business or personal. And obviously if it's from your job, you need to talk with them and get permission and all that jazz. But the cool thing is that if you already have this thing created, you can just simply put it for sale. And that's the easiest thing that I feel like nobody really talks about with digital products is you don't always have to create something completely new from scratch. If you start making a list of just like, Hmm, what are the things I might already have that I could just make for sale? It could save you a lot of time. And of course, if you don't already have something created that you can sell, then I would highly recommend starting with the workshop or the audio file suggestions. Okay. So let me know in the comments below, which one of these five digital products stands out to you. Which one do you want to go ahead and create? And if none of them really stood out to you, then be sure to download my list of 54 different types of digital products in the description below this video completely for free. And if you got one or two golden nuggets from this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. What was your top takeaway? Give this video a like and subscribe because I put out new videos just like this one, one to two times every single week. And now that you know the five types of digital products that I would recommend most for beginners, you might be wondering how to go about starting to sell your own digital products. But how do you do that? Well, it all starts with watching this video next here, because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's going to be so much more powerful. See you in the next video.